Hi, baby girls. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everybody is doing a super, super well today. So we have, I don't know if it's going to be our last Valentine's Day design. I haven't really decided up on that yet because I did mention to you guys that since I loved Valentine's and now so much, maybe I was still going to have one up on Monday, one day before Valentine's. But honestly, you guys, I've been super, 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 super busy. Right now, I have a couple of orders to go and um, I need to go do that. It's already Friday and I need to go and do those orders. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I've been very busy. So just bear with me. If you guys haven't received a tracking number, just bear with me. Um, I've been very busy. I think I mentioned that on my previous video as well. So, yeah, baby girls, with that being said, um, let's move on to the design or the actual video or the actual nail design. You get it. <laughs> okay, well, um, to begin, we're going to start off with the products. I'm going to kind of mention and walk you through the products that I'm going to be using on today's video. So, for today, we're going to be using a butter pecan. That's like my favorite nude, you guys. I, I love butter pecan. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and start by applying it here on my ring finger. And then from there, we're going to be doing two Frenchies. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Hold on. Okay, baby girls, I'm so sorry. That was tied in over there. I don't know what he was barking at, but I'm so sorry. Um, Yeah, we're going to be doing two Frenchies on the pinky and on the index finger. So I actually realized that... I don't have a red nail design for Valentine's up on my channel. I have one that's red and pink. I have another one that's red and black, but I don't have like a full on red. You know what I mean? Like just red and of course nude. <laughs> but um, I was like, I'm realizing right now that I don't have a red design. So I'm like, you know what? I better do it before Valentine's is over. And like I mentioned, I really don't know if this is gonna be the last one or if there's gonna be another one for Monday. Probably there is you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I really don't have anything to do the over the weekend So I might be able to record one more for Monday But I was like, you know what? I better do that right now I better sit down and do a red design So we're gonna be doing that right now and as you guys can see here, I'm gonna start like I mentioned <laughs> I'm gonna start by applying my nude here on the ring finger. Um, it doesn't really matter if you do two three four five six beats you guys it does not matter i know that a lot of us look forward to just applying the acrylic with one bead but honestly you guys to me that's been impossible ever since i began my nail journey that's been impossible for me to do like i'm not able to do that it's totally impossible to do i really don't know how a lot of nail techs actually do it but i can't i really can't so um don't worry do not worry if you're like oh my god i just applied 10 beads it doesn't matter you guys as long as that nail looks on fleek girl go ahead and add a 10 20 beads as long as it looks good it looks good don't worry about it so um that's what i did here <laughs> especially when your nails are super extra long like these um i think it's super hard to actually do it in one bead so um, you might probably need like a brush size 30 for you to do that, but, um, not really you guys, but, um, yeah, I think that when the nails are like this extra long, it's super hard to do that. Um, so I went ahead and applied maybe like, I want to say like five beads onto the nail, but yeah, you guys do not worry how many beads you're applying. As long as your nail looks super bomb.com, do not worry about that. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing the little Frenchies, as I mentioned. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do Frenchies or if I wanted to do, like, ombre. But I've been doing a lot of ombre, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do a Frenchie. And I was debating whether to do it with gel, like with a red gel polish. But, again, like, I was just debating all over this um throughout the process of this nail design and because i wasn't sure what i wanted um i knew i wanted red but i wasn't sure what i wanted so i went ahead and i'm like you know what i haven't used ramo buchon from my valentine's collection i'm like i i haven't used that so i might as well use it because i haven't used it <laughs> So, um, I think that's about the only one that I haven't used from, like, my whole Valentine's collection. And just because I had been in love with pinks 
literally i was in love with pink throughout this valentine's so um maybe that's why and also i noticed that i was doing a lot of purple so maybe i was in love with purple as well without me even noticing um so yes baby girls that's why maybe that's the reason why i have not used my ramo buchon but it's just a perfect red you guys because it's not that bright and it's not that dark i think it's like right in between as to it's more like of a um like a toned down red it's not that bright like i mentioned um for example i used poinsettias from two guys um i had been using that up and down you guys because i love that red it's a very bright like true red but i was like you know what i don't want like a bright red you know what i mean that one is a super 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 bright red and i didn't want that i want it more like a toned down red so that's why i chose um ramo buchon because i know that a lot of you like red but you guys are not into like the bright reds you know what i mean so i'm like you know what this is like just the perfect red because it's not that ni muy aquí ni muy allá you know what i mean like it's just i i think it's just perfect so yeah baby girls um the tips that i am using are my 3xl's square tips soon we will have the 2xl square tips and also the 2xl coffin tips i know that those sell out super super fast um and i totally understand you guys i know that um a lot of if you have clients a lot of our clients prefer shorter length nails and like it, it'll be a waste for you to buy the 3xls if they wear shorter nails you know what i mean but i totally understand so those will be available soon hopefully in a couple of weeks um i'm waiting for a lot of things you guys a lot of things are about to come i mean not a lot of things but a few things are about to come and i'm super super excited about that and what else what else what else that's pretty much it you guys but i'm just waiting i'm super waiting on that and about sweetheart forget about sweetheart you guys it's never gonna come <laughs> i already spoke to my supplier it's somewhere like stuck in shipping i don't know you guys it's it's never gonna get here and i think it's just too late for me to like reorder and stuff so i'll just probably have it up till next year again um i know that a lot of you want it even if it's not valentine's so we'll see we'll see about that if i ever receive it i'll just put it on the website even if it's june july <laughs> and if you guys are willing to buy it it'll be on the website but yeah i don't know i really don't know what happened but just forget about sweetheart and yeah baby girls um i was having a hard time here with my frenchies they were like super 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 hard to do i really don't know what happened um for some reason my nude was drying super fast and the temperature on my house was like 67, 68. And for some reason, it was drying super fast. Um, maybe the new batch that came in is a lot more faster than the usual that I buy. Um, I, I would have to talk to my supplier about that. Um, but yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that it was drying faster. So if you guys buy butter pecan, just have that in mind that it's probably going to dry a little faster than usual, okay? Um, because, yeah, this is like the new, like the brand new um, container that I that I got recently for, not for a restock, but, but yeah, for a restock, but you get it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it dries a little faster. So, yeah, I was having a little, like, hard time here because i'm not used to that i'm not used to fast drying acrylics i'm i'm more used to like just normal drying acrylics and this one was drying super fast on me i'm like what is going on here um but i managed to do it um the pinky came out a little better than the index nail but yeah i guess i managed to do it either way I'm also using my number 12 Kalinsky brush, which is sold out currently on my website, but it'll soon be in stock. And I'm waiting for the number 14 as well. I've been waiting for those since maybe like before Christmas. So I don't know what's up with that. I need to ask my supplier to hurry up on that because I'm literally needing my Kalinsky brushes ASAP. And um, I'm waiting for my number 14 as well. So I can't wait for that. And also we're going to be using Rudolph, which is a glitter acrylic that I had for Christmas available last year. And it's a beautiful glittery red. Um, we're going to also be using that for my middle nail. So everything is um, 
like it's not speeded up or anything it's going in real time just so you guys know this is like the real speed that i work in you guys can see here that it literally takes me like 20 30 minutes to do like the full acrylic application but yes baby girls i'm gonna leave you guys to it i really don't have tea today so i'll leave you guys to it and i'll be coming back Okay, baby girls, so the main reason why I went ahead and applied a red acrylic as a background for my middle nail, it's because I didn't want it to be, since we are going to be using a glitter acrylic, I didn't want it to have like bald spots, you know what I mean? I want it like a full-on glitter, you know what I mean? And um, it's like you applying crystals, like a full-on blinged out nail. Um, let's say you're using... Um, you know a b rhinestones you want to make sure you add a holographic um background at the bottom or a holographic glitter um acrylic as your base or as a background so that whenever you come in with your bling there's no like bald spots if that makes sense you know what i mean so that's pretty much what i wanted um with this nail i didn't want it to have any bald spots i wanted it to be like a full-on glitter if that makes sense so I went ahead and added my Ramo Buchon as well here on the middle nail all throughout the middle nail and then I went ahead and added my glitter acrylic on top of that I made sure you guys that I did not make any like sort of thickness to the nail using the red because of course it was gonna be extra bulky or extra thick and I didn't want that of course so I just made sure that the that I kind of like painted it on the red onto the nail. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what I did. And then off camera, I went ahead and filed the Frenchies just so that they look a little, a little, oh my God, a little bit more crisp. And um, I went on to apply my red, my red acrylic onto the tip of those Frenchies.
Okay, so moving on to the capping process, you want to make sure you cap. First of all, we have glitter going on. Second of all, we have Frenchies going on. And also, we want to give the right structure to each nail. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and cap using my Crystal Clear Acrylic, which doesn't have a brand yet. Well, it does have a brand. It's a Bomb Nails brand. Um, but it's not out yet. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, I'm using uh, my Crystal Clear Acrylic, and then I'm also using Two Guys a Monomer. I do not have a coupon code with Two Guys anymore. I'm so sorry, you guys. But I can honestly tell you that their products are really good. So um, go check them out. I promise you, you will not regret it. But yeah, um, I am using their monomer. And um, all I'm going to be doing is just capping everything. Again, just to give it the right structure. Just to protect everything that we just did. Because imagine if we come and file that glitter. Oh my god. And you're going to be seeing that later on. I did kind of like messed up on my on my thumb i didn't cap it right from one side and um i uncovered the glitter with my drill like it was so crazy but you're gonna be seeing that later on and yeah i'm just gonna finish up capping here and then of course we're gonna be moving on to filing Okay, so we have a new filing process or 
filing um yeah i guess we're gonna call it a filing process so the thumb i'm always gonna do it in real time so you guys can actually see what i'm doing and how i shape how i file how i how i do this how i do that um and then the rest of the fingers are gonna be sped up just because of course we don't want to sit here for another 20 to 30 minutes watching me file okay <laughs> this video is already long as it is and i was not planning to leave you guys here for another 20 minutes so yeah i went ahead and used my two guys 100 100 nail grid files and these just kind of helped me um remove any acrylic that might have run down towards the side walls or underneath the nail onto the skin it just removes all of that also i kind of start to shape the nail and like there's there's really not much needed to be shaped because of course we went ahead and watched our acrylic application you guys know this i always tell you that every single time i apply a acrylic bead i went ahead and just swipe those side walls and clean those side walls with my brush so um after that i'm gonna go ahead and use my drill bit from melody suzy um and this is a medium drill bit from melody suzy um i do have a coupon code with them it'll be linked in the description box below just in case you want to go and get some goodies from them a drill maybe you're in need of a drill or something um yeah the the coupon code will be linked in the description box below and I have one of my favorite drill bits from them. They're linked in case you want or you're looking for a good drill bit. I do have one that's really good linked there. I don't know what I haven't, why I haven't been using it. And I think I'm going to start using it because I love it so much. I just love the color and everything. I love everything about it. Even the way it shapes and everything. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and seal the cuticles using this drill bit. Um, make sure you seal that cuticle because if you have any product on top of the skin that will cost you to have lifting and we don't want lifting you guys that's like a nail tech's worst enemy um so just make sure you you remove that using your your e-file or even your hands file and then of course we're gonna go ahead and debulk the nail using this so what i like to do is i like to take it from sidewall to sidewall all the way down towards the tip of the nail and since these nails are extra long sometimes it gets hard to do that so i just like to go like from top to bottom and just kind of file like that sometimes it's easier for me so um, I like to do that and then I also like to further shape using this drill bit um, again there's not much um, shaping to do because I always watch um, my acrylic application I like to do that because the more you watch your acrylic application and the more um, just the more you watch that um, you're gonna have less shaping to do and a lot less filing to do so yeah but i also do like to take it along the side walls just for a crisp shape now i'm gonna go ahead and take my 150 150 nail grid file and again just going along the side walls this is just a habit i guess you guys because there's really not much to do um to the side walls anymore um but now i'm gonna go ahead and take it look this is what i mean you guys i didn't cap it like real good and now like the glitter was showing up but you know i was being very gentle on that little side or, or on that little part um anyway yeah what the 150 150 nail grid file does it just kind of helps me buff the surface of the nail in a way it removes any harsh lines that the drill bit might have left behind sometimes it does that and i don't like to just go in with a buffing block and that's it this is something that i have to do again it's just optional you guys you don't have to do this um this is just what i do and i did see a big um just a big difference in my shaping not my shaping my filing you know just the just the way the nail looks after being filed using this so um i go ahead and do this again just going back and forth between the side walls um and then i also like to kind of shape the free edge using this one you guys can totally use whatever file you want for the free edge for but for some reason i've always liked to shape the free edge using this 150 150 nail grid file i don't know why but that's just me again you guys can use your 8080 your 100 100 whatever it is that you're using you guys can use for that 
Um, and so now, of course, we're going to be moving on to buffing everything. And for that, I am using my orange um, buffing blocks. These are my favorites. Um, you got to watch out because some buffing blocks will leave your nails or the surface of the nail super, super smooth. And you don't want that, especially if you're working with the gels on top. So um, you don't want that because then they'll start to peel off. They want something um, more um like more i don't want to say coarse but a little more porous porous i think that's the word to to adhere to you know what i mean so um just make sure that your bu buffing blocks are not that smooth and that the surface is not left as smooth um so this is pretty much it you guys and this is what the nails look like after being totally filed and buffed and after that of course we are going to be moving on to our next nails which are going to be sped up so this is pretty much the same process you guys and i will guys i will leave you guys to it
Okay, so moving on to the decoration. Um, right here, I'm going to start to apply my matte top coat, which is available on my online store. Don't forget that. Um, and I will start by applying a super thin layer all throughout. Well, not all throughout the nails, but I'm going to begin by applying it here on the pinky or on the two Frenchies um, because we're going to be doing some crock prints. I was debating whether to do crock prints or do some like lips. I think I should have done lips, but you guys tell me what you guys think. Would you guys have done lips or would you guys have done the crock print? I wanted something red that had to do with Valentine's, but not really there. You get me? Um, sometimes clients are, I'm, like with all due respect, but sometimes clients are weird. They'll come in and they'll tell you like, okay, I want something Valentine's, but not really. So you're like, okay, then what does she want? <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, that's pretty much what I was like going for. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do lips. I'm just going to do the crop print. Uh, make it look like a regular nail design. And then we'll we'll add some like heart bling. Like a big heart bling. The, like the one that I have on my ring finger over here on my right hand. And then we could do, you know, some like heart cherries so that it, it looks it gives you like valentine vibes but it's not really there just like the client said you know what i mean so yeah that, that's pretty much what i was aiming for and then um you guys know the drill i went ahead and cured that under the lamp for 60 seconds and then once it comes out of the lamp i went ahead and did my little like my little lines here in the center and then more onto the side and by the way these liner brushes oh my god peep 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 <laughs> peep the new product um yeah these liner brushes will be available soon on my website i'm waiting for them i'm super super waiting for them um and these are my samples um but you guys will have yours soon so yeah anyway um this is a number eight and we're gonna start by doing this like i said doing the little lines and then we're gonna before it cures okay make sure you add your crystal clear acrylic on top again um the crystal clear acrylic is from my well it's not yet on my website but it'll soon be on my website and um we're gonna start to sprinkle that on top of that to make sure it's saturated with acrylic and then we're going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds. Um, so did you guys see the pink container there? That one will also be available soon on my website. I am so excited for those. They're super pretty. They're, oh my God, I am in love with those containers. So yeah, those will soon be available on my website. And I love those for, for my acrylic powder. Um, you can add your crystal clear acrylic, you can add your favorite nude, the, the nude that most of your clients ask for. Um, I like that one for powders. Um, and now the little one that I have with the pink or purple cap, those I love for the monomer. So I think they're just perfect and they're so beautiful because it just adds the like the right um the right amount of product or monomer onto those and i love it i love it you guys but yeah anyway now moving on we're gonna be doing these little hearts again we're gonna be doing like heart cherries i'm gonna be honest you guys i was not a fan of them um i was like i shouldn't have i should have done something um better than this i think i could have done better but honestly you guys i was super tired it had been a long day and i was not planning well actually this was like my second time trying it because i did it the first time and i didn't like it so i went ahead and removed it and then this was the second time and i was like oh my god i didn't like it but i'm just gonna leave it because i'm super tired <laughs> and i hope you guys don't mind <laughs> but yeah i'm not a fan of these hearts well cherry hearts and um, I went ahead and did um with my Two Guys brush. It's more like a pencil brush, I want to say. It's uh, super, super cool, you guys, because you don't have to, like, outline, like, what you're going to do and then fill in. Like, no, you, you could just, like, paint it on and you're ready to go. I went ahead and painted or actually <laughs> I went ahead and did the little heart. And then I did three coats of the gel polish on top of that because it was looking a little, like... A little translucent in a way so i wanted the red to look super opaque 
and then um, after that I'm gonna be taking a little bit of black gel polish just to outline the little hearts and here I think I'm using a bigger size on my brushes I think it's the number 15 mm and we're gonna be outlining everything now here I am using my 20 mm which is perfect for longer nail Frenchies and um, this one will also be included in the liner brushes. We're going to have the 8, the 15, and the 20. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. Anyway, so we're going to be doing the little stems here. And then I went ahead and did two coats of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply my matte top coat. I don't know for some reason whenever I do freehand things like this or little like freehand um, drawings I like them to be matte I do not like them to be shiny I think matte makes it stand out even more so I went ahead and matted that down and then um, now I'm gonna start on with my bling and yeah I was having a little problem there <laughs> the little heart is way too big and it was not picking up with my with my wax tool so I had to do it with my hand and um yeah these crystals are all serenity crystals you guys and they're available on blue streak i do have a coupon code with blue streak so don't forget to check that out i will have the link in the description box below as well as my coupon code okay so yeah everything here you see on this um box is from blue streak again serenity crystals from blue streak i love them you guys and these light red ones are called light light siam or red siam something like that and i love them you guys they're the perfect red um they're not too dark not too light i love them so i'm gonna go ahead and add some red crystals and then of course blinging this nail out and then we're also gonna be adding some clear crystal um i've been loving to use clear crystals instead of ab rhinestones or ab um crystals you know what i mean i don't know you guys i've been loving to use these and i think i need to stock up on these because i'm running out of the other little container that little container that i have there the black one it's running out you guys and i don't want it to run out so i think i need to go and make another purchase um, but yeah, I'm also going to go ahead and add some crystals here on the Frenchies. And then also we're going to be applying some red um, crystals onto the little heart cherries that we did. And everything else was top coated except for my glitter nail or my middle nail. So I'm going to go ahead and make it super shiny. And for that, I'm using my diamond top coat, which is available on my online store. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it around the crystals, okay? Make sure you do not add top coat on top of your rhinestones because it's just gonna dull it's shine you guys trust me i know you might think okay shiny and shiny go together no girl like you're just gonna dull the shine so make sure you don't do that um so i am being very very careful and going around each and every little crystal and then of course i'm gonna cure that under the lamp for about 60 seconds once it can oh my god once it gets out of the lamp i'm so sorry you guys i get super tongue twisted but yeah once it gets out of the lamp i'm gonna go ahead and add my cuticle oil and the cuticle oil is from my online store as well it's the rose scented oil and um and this is about it this is the final result i really hope you guys liked it it's a valentine's red design but not really there okay it's like like can you tell or can't you tell you know what i mean like is it or not you know what i mean 
yeah that was kind of like the vibe that i was going for um again because our clients are weird we love our clients but they're weird <laughs> um so yeah baby girls this is about it i really hope you guys liked it um i'm gonna be honest i'm not a fan of, of the cherries like i i think i could have done better or something else but let me know what you guys think um i will hopefully see you here on on oh my god i was gonna say sunday on monday um i will try my best to upload my last valentine's day design if not then i'll see you here next week with just a totally different vibe you guys so yeah baby girls i will see you on the next one and stay safe god bless and if i don't see you here for valentine's day or before that have a super happy and fantastic valentine's day okay we'll see you later you guys bye, -bye.